Have you ever watched a tiny seed push through the soil or a baby chick break out of its shell? Amazing, right? Today, we'll explore how living things, animals and plants, grow, change, and bring new life into the world. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify animals that give birth to live young, viviparous, and those that lay eggs, oviparous. Compare the life cycles of mammals, birds, and plants. Create a simple model or drawing of a life cycle. Let's warm up. Fill in the blanks with the correct terms in human reproductive system. These organs work together so humans can reproduce by giving birth to live young, just like other mammals. Living things have fascinating ways of bringing new life into the world. Animals, in particular, reproduce in two main ways, oviparous and viviparous reproduction. Oviparous animals. Oviparous animals lay eggs that develop outside the mother's body. Examples, birds like chickens and ducks, reptiles such as snakes and turtles, most fish, and amphibians like frogs. The embryo grows inside the egg. The egg's shell or protective membrane provides safety and nourishment through the yolk until the young animal is ready to hatch. Fun fact, a sea turtle may lay over a hundred eggs at once and then cover them with sand to keep them warm. Why do you think the egg's shell or membrane is so important for the baby animal? Viviparous animals. Viviparous animals give birth to live young that develop inside the mother's body. Examples. Most mammals like dogs, cats, humans, cows, and even whales. Process. The baby begins as an embryo and grows inside the mother's uterus during a period called gestation. Nourishment. The mother provides food and oxygen to the developing young through a special organ called the placenta. Fun fact, an African elephant has one of the longest gestation periods, about 22 months. Oviparous versus viviparous. Key difference, oviparous animals rely on eggs outside the body, while viviparous animals develop their young inside the body. Similarity, both require a male and a female to create a new life and pass on their traits to their offspring. Now, look around your surroundings, your backyard, farm animals, pets, even the nearby river. Challenge, write or say aloud. Three animals in your community that lay eggs. Three animals that give birth to live young. Share your answers in the comments section or jot them down in your notebook. Every living creature follows a journey from the moment it begins life until it becomes an adult. This journey is called a life cycle. Let's look at two familiar examples, mammals and birds. Mammal life cycle, pregnancy stage. A baby mammal starts as a tiny embryo inside the mother's body. The embryo gets food and oxygen through the placenta. This time inside the mother is called the gestation period, which varies. A cat about two months, a human about nine months, an elephant almost 22 months. 2. Newborn stage. After birth, the young mammal is called a newborn or infant. It usually drinks milk from its mother and depends on her for warmth and protection. 3. Adult stage. With enough food and care, the young grows into an adult capable of reproducing and starting the cycle again. Bird life cycle. 1. Egg stage. The mother bird lays an egg. Inside, the embryo grows during the incubation period, while the parent keeps the egg warm. 2. 
chick stage. When ready, the chick breaks through the shell, a process called hatching. At first, the chick is soft and weak, needing warmth and food from its parents. 3. Adult stage. The chick grows feathers, learns to fly, and eventually becomes an adult bird ready to lay eggs of its own. Let's compare puppy versus chick growth. Similarities. Both start as an embryo. Both need parental care, especially for warmth and food. Both grow through stages until they can reproduce. Differences. Mammals develop inside the mother's body, while birds develop inside an egg outside the mother. Gestation happens in mammals. Incubation happens in birds. Now, think of a pet or farm animal you know. Where does it begin its life? Inside the mother or inside an egg? How do the parents care for it during its early days? Write a short note or share with a classmate. Life cycle of a plant. Just like animals, plants have an incredible life cycle. A series of stages that repeat so new plants can grow. Let's follow the journey of a tiny seed as it becomes a full-grown plant. The life cycle begins with a seed. Inside each seed is a tiny baby plant called an embryo, packed with nutrients in the seed coat for protection. Question. Why do you think a tough seed coat is important for the baby plant? When the seed gets enough water, warmth, and oxygen, it wakes up and starts to grow. Roots push downward to find water and nutrients. This first growth stage is called germination. Fun fact, some seeds can stay dormant for years, waiting for the right conditions. Stage 3. Seedling A seedling is a young plant that has broken through the soil. It needs sunlight, water, and nutrients to continue growing. Small leaves begin to appear and start making food through photosynthesis. Stage 4. Young plant. The plant grows taller and stronger, forming more leaves and branches. It's now a young adult, preparing to make flowers or fruit. Stage 5. Adult plant. At full maturity, the plant produces flowers or fruits. Flowers attract pollinators like bees, while fruits help disperse seeds, starting the cycle all over again. Throughout each stage, seed, germination, seedling, young plant, adult, the plant needs sunlight for photosynthesis, water for nutrients and growth, soil nutrients for strength and health. Take a look around your home or schoolyard. Can you find a plant in each of these stages? Seed, seedling, young plant, or adult? Sketch what you see or take a photo to share with your class. Let's review. Oviparous equals lay eggs. Viviparous equals give birth to live young. Every living thing passes through stages called a life cycle. Finish this sentence in your notebook. I learned that. Great job today, young scientists. We discovered that animals can reproduce in two main ways. Some lay eggs while others give birth to live young. And we explored how mammals, birds, and even plants follow amazing life cycles from beginning to end. Remember, every seed that sprouts and every chick that hatches is part of nature's beautiful circle of life. Keep observing the living things around you, and you'll see these life cycles happening every day. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of science. Now with the guidance of your teacher, complete the following activity.